The city of Pikeville is in the process of acquiring funding for what is known as the Bob Amos Master Plan. The purpose of the project is to add various new attractions to the park that will allow for more outdoor activities suitable for all age groups. Pikeville residents will also be able to make their own suggestions for what else to add to the park. We're working with a landscape ar architecture firm that did some planning for many parks around the state. Uh, for example, um, the Kentucky Children's Park in Lexington is a, is a big one. And, you know, they do things that blend in well with nature and um, just activities for different age groups. And so the purpose of this master planning is to um, look at the park and try to figure out what amenities and attractions we want in there in order to um, best serve the citizens and visitors that we have just to give them various activities they can do outside. When my baby was born, it was magical. And as she grew, having a hospital close to home with advanced health care and specialized physicians being there along the journey was important. And along that journey, many special doctors touched our lives. And then one day, my baby became a woman and a mother herself. Pikeville Medical Center, caring for every moment in life. Some potential additions already planned for construction include a new dog park and indoor climbing facility. Decisions will be finalized after reviewing additional data and input from the public. Um, once we get input from the public, I would say it'll probably take another month or so to compile that data and then make some final decisions on what the master plan itself will look like. So that'll be the completion of the master plan and then it's a matter of making decisions as far as um, which of these things can we fund ourselves. You know, are there grant opportunities to go after other funding? Just uh, and the the time frame of when it's all constructed will depend greatly on just when we can find the, the appropriate funding. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.